Many people live in areas where fetching water is a daily problem. They live in remote and water-scarce areas and often have to walk for hours to fetch water. Their natural resources are limited and living conditions are harsh. The land is often eroded, dry and hardened and water sources are either inaccessible or polluted. Due to climate change, rainfall events are becoming more extreme. Longer dry periods, unpredictable rainy seasons and excessive amounts of water lead to insufficient availability of water during the dry season. Available water sources are no longer sufficient and groundwater levels drop even further. This results in people having to travel even longer distances to fetch water. But there is a source of water which is often overlooked. Rainwater. Though these areas seem very dry, there is often enough rainfall each year to fulfill the water needs of people. Efficient and effective storage of as much water as possible during the rainy season is possible. However, the right knowledge and instruments to collect and store the water are often lacking. Rainwater harvesting has been used for millennia. With the increasing availability of hard roofs in many developing countries, roof water harvesting is a viable option for the collection of rainwater. It is also possible to build small dams in dry riverbeds and catch and store rainwater in the sand in front of a dam. An average rainfall of 200 millimeters a year can be sufficient for rainwater harvesting to provide a reliable source of drinking water for vulnerable communities to bridge the dry periods of the year. One 20 liter container of water captured from a roof can save a walk of many kilometers to the nearest water source. Women and girls in particular benefit from this since they are usually the ones responsible for water collection. Examples. Women in Nepal no longer have to climb steep hills with heavy jars of water. People in Senegal can drink sweet rainwater instead of the salty groundwater. Over the past years, rainwater harvesting initiatives like those of rain are accepted as an improved source of drinking water by the World Health Organization. As a decentralized and low-cost technology, rainwater harvesting enables people at household and community level to manage their own water right at their doorstep. Looking across past experiences of rain in the various rainwater harvesting programs, Important lessons are learned, and in all countries, similar successes and improvements were seen. The running costs of rainwater harvesting systems are low, and the lifespan of the systems is high, around 15 years. Although this guarantees financial sustainability in the long term, the investment costs remain a challenge. Initial investment costs for rainwater harvesting tanks are relatively high, limiting replication by communities in challenging environments. Reducing investment costs, innovative financing mechanisms and technologies are essential for further upscaling the use of rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting answers to the basic need for water. It's an effective and sustainable solution to water shortages all over the world. Technologies such as water tanks provide a storage solution even in remote areas and enable communities to collect, store and manage their own water supply. Rainwater is therefore a sustainable technology that can substantially help in promoting the right to water. Rain has learned that rainwater cannot only be used as drinking water, but using the right technologies can also be used for micro-irrigation, cattle breeding or other uses which support the resilience of a household to the negative impacts of climate change. Rainwater harvesting is more than harvesting water from rooftops. Rainwater can be used to replenish groundwater resource by infiltrating water into the ground. 
In pilot projects in Burkina Faso and Ethiopia, rain has found that technologies like sand dams have a positive effect on groundwater levels. A restored water table is good news for agriculture, local economies, and helps people to adapt to or mitigate the effects of climate change. Rain works in Burkina Faso, Mali, Senegal, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Nepal and Bangladesh. Rainwater harvesting systems are decentralized, which means that they build closely to households and communities. This water at the doorstep saves a lot of time, especially for women who don't have to walk great distances daily anymore to get water. They save time and energy and are able to relax or use their time differently, which can even lead to an increase of the household's income. Children, especially girls, have more time for playing or education. Collaboration with other health organizations, communities and local authorities is essential. RAIN brings together key players from all sectors in the field of water in order to promote the integration of water harvesting in their policies, programs and strategies. RAIN aims to establish and support the development of national networks on rainwater harvesting, which are led by a so-called Rainwater Harvesting Capacity Center in order to create a multi-stakeholder platform for water harvesting. RAIN supports knowledge sharing and these networks play a crucial role in this. In the upcoming years, RAIN will build upon the network and will strengthen them in order to create more impact in specifically lobby and knowledge sharing. Access to, for example, microcredit is important for making rainwater harvesting systems accessible to all as well as creating more financial sustainability in the RAIN program, less dependence on Western donors. This supports upscaling opportunities. Microcredit is the principle of giving small loans to the very poor to help them generate an income of their own. Microcredit, used properly, can help to reduce income poverty, lessen the vulnerability of the poorest and empower women. Knowledge is needed for microfinance institutions to integrate water harvesting as a product for microcredit. RAIN and its partners need to focus more on creating the awareness and possibilities for financial institutions to become interested in including water harvesting financing schemes. Microcredit schemes can offer an appealing alternative to subsidy-dependent initiatives. Sustainability is only created when local ownership is established and programs are supported by governments. RAIN strives to increase the awareness and adoption of rainwater harvesting and encourages governments to establish and support an institutional framework for rainwater harvesting. The Rainwater Harvesting Capacity Centers and its partners play a crucial role towards governments since they can coordinate implementation, support technology innovation, and facilitate promotional and lobbying activities at national level. Women's involvement in community management of rainwater harvesting systems has to become much stronger. When it comes to sustainable development, RAIN believes women are key. On household level, they should be the managers and in charge of the water supply. Gender will therefore be taken up strongly by giving training and making sure that gender aspects are included in rainwater harvesting programs, projects and approaches. The UN Millennium Development Goals state that by 2015, every human being should have access to safe water and basic sanitation. The World Health Organization and UNICEF, the UN's joint monitoring program, have accepted rainwater harvesting as an improved source of drinking water. In order to ensure that governments comply to this, RAIN will more actively promote and lobby for water harvesting as being a sustainable source of water at the national and local level in different contexts. 
Rain will set good examples in different types of environments and will actively share this in its network as well as internationally. Rain will strongly focus on making technologies more sustainable and accessible to all. Rain will also create opportunities for alternative financing mechanisms, piloting innovative and more market-oriented technologies and creating stronger partnerships with governments and other relevant actors in the field of water supply. RAIN's national networks can provide a strong base to start implementation, knowledge sharing and lobby activities within a country. RAIN will focus more on building the capacities of these national networks in order to make them more effective in achieving these objectives. Capacity building activities have to be adapted to the local context and specific needs within a country. RAIN believes in the often overseen opportunities that rainwater can offer, both at a household level as well as at a national level. Setting good examples of rainwater for multiple uses, like micro-irrigation at a local level, as well as promoting approaches on a national and international level, will be the main focus areas of RAIN for the upcoming years. Rainwater harvesting will contribute substantially to the realization of the Millennium Development Goals by providing a relatively cheap supply of clean water, the health and living standards of the world's poorest people will improve significantly. The unique approach of the Rain Foundation assures an accessible long-term solution to inadequate water access. However, more action is needed in terms of implementation, sharing knowledge, capacity building and promotion. Every raindrop counts and we need your contribution. Find out how by visiting our website www.rainfoundation.org. Rain Foundation. Every drop counts. <laughs>